All right, so in this video, we have a new pair from New Balance and Bodega. This is a collaboration that I have to tell you guys, uh, as soon as I opened this box, which is fire, by the way, this thing was something that surprised me. It's really, really nice. So it's not far-fetched to say that New Balance has good quality materials on most of their pairs, even on the, the GR. Bruh, I really just, I just threw the box. What I was trying to say is that the quality of the materials on a regular pair are pretty good. But uh, the quality materials on the collaboration is just that much better and worth the extra price point if you ask me. Uh, that's my first initial impressions uh, just right out of the box. I love the colorway with the blue and the purple and then some natural tones on here as well. A little bit of gum sole on the bottom with different colored diamonds and everything. Just overall the colorway was just like okay like... I don't know what the theme is of this shoe. I don't need to know a history about the shoe. I don't even need to know it's a collab. Uh, but I see the color blocking and the crazy collaboration of different colors and I really, really like it. Then I threw it on feet. I threw on some ice dye socks I created and I, I just thought it looked really, really clean. With a pair of gray sweatpants, I mean, honestly, like it was a, it felt like a vibe and I'm like an old man and I shouldn't even be saying vibe because I think that that's like something that people don't say anymore. But I think that they look really good on feet. And this model is one that I'm actually really impressed with as well. I've done a review of these already, but this is the 9060 model from New Balance. A new model to this year and Bodega crushed this one. I would love to see some other heavyweights weigh in on this model. A Salehi Benberry maybe, uh, because Salehi Benberry did the 2002R uh, before it really had like a lot of GR releases and that model has done terrific as well. Uh, this model, I think, is is another one that I'm happy that Bodega touched. Now, I have a couple other collabs from Bodega. The 997, this was a really fun one. Then you have the 574 Legacy, as well as the 990s. But I have to say, out of all four of the ones that I have, I actually like this one the best. I like the model. I like that it's a cut and sew model brought to us in 2022. Basically looks like a retro sneaker that is modernized and then you have a really great color blocking uh, with this collaboration from Bodega. So this one I'm super impressed with. Let's get into some words of what Bodega says about the product. So these ones retail at $180 and this is the Bodega New Balance 9060 collaboration. I got these from New Balance's side. I waited in the queue and actually got through and got them and I tweeted it. I was like, dude, they're easy to cop. And then as soon as I did that, they were like sold out. So I was like, oh, sorry about that, guys. I thought that it was just something easy because they were full size run one minute and then completely gone the next. This colorway is Citadel and Kangaroo. And I think that that is a really cool combination. For some reason, when I think of Citadel, I think of Mass Effect. Anybody that played Mass Effect, drop a comment in the comment section. That game was so good. Mass Effect 3, I think it was. Bodega has offered their take on a wide variety of New Balance sneakers over the years. For a collaborative partner of such creative versatility, Bodega's version of the 9060 takes inspiration from the aesthetic and the spirit of the Renaissance. As the silhouettes exaggerated Y2K influence proportions are rendered in a rich, varied material palette. The standard mesh upper construction becomes an exercise in texture as traditional mesh at the toe box is complemented with spacer mesh around the ankle collar. The subtle addition of the perforated leather panel at the midfoot adds an additional layer of variation along with a flash of contrasted color. The multi-texture technique carries over to the overlays which features both suede and hairy suede. The Renaissance influence is emphasized with a colorway featuring heavenly blue tones, accented neutral whites, grays, tans, and recalling the classic art and architecture. That's actually a really eloquent way of uh, putting all of that into this. And I'm glad they hit on a couple of the key features of the upper because it was the first thing that drew my attention uh, to the shoe is the different mismatch styles of mesh. I love that they have this large gauge mesh as well as a fine mesh on the other side and then the perforated leather as well adds like three different styles of kind of like mesh like feeling to the shoe. It adds a variety of different textures and then you get to the suede and as I mentioned parts of it is just regular suede and then you have the hairy suede or the napped suede as well which looks really incredible around the tongue and the collar of the shoe. It kind of reminds me of this Lay Benberry 2002 R's as well because of the different types of mesh on the upper. And I think it's a really great use of different materials because when you have a cut and sew upper, and cut and sew I mean is just cut panels sewn together on an upper, instead of having just a completely like a knit upper, like a fly knit upper or a prime knit upper or something like that, it's a lot of different suede and leather panels and mesh panels through the upper of the shoe. But they're created in such a great way with so many different layers uh, on the upper with different materials and textures and tones. It just really comes together well. You have little hits of purple on the eyelets as well as on the end embroidered on one side. Then you also do have purple on the end 
down in the front of the shoe on a reflective backing. You have purple on the lace tips that say Bodega and also on the insole. And then you have the New Balance 9060 logo in yellow as well as the Bodega uh, logo in the insole. But then on the bottom of the outsole, you have the three colors kind of integrated as well. So you have the blue, the purple, and the yellow again on this gum outsole that really vibes well and like meshes well with the different colors of the earth tones that they have on the upper as well. It's really, really an interesting mix because usually it's like all earth tones in different panels here and there or all colors. But in this case, it's kind of like a combination of both and it really uh, does a great job. 180 is $30 more than the retail pair at $150. So $30 more, you get the collaboration and the really nice colorway. They do have some baseline colorways that have really good materials on them as well. And they're 150 and I'll link them in the description, take you to New Balance's site. If you guys use my links, it does give me a little bit of a kickback. Let's New Balance know that you guys appreciate the channel. But the 9060s in general is just a really great model. It's a comfortable model. In my opinion, the fit is true to size. If you guys have a difference in opinion, leave a comment in the comment section. But true to size for me, I got a nine and a half and I'm a true nine and a half. And I really like what they did here. Honestly, from the pictures, I was like, okay, it looks okay. But when you get them in hand, you can definitely appreciate the craftsmanship that much more. But you can also appreciate the different materials and the uh, just the overall layers when you look at the shoe from different angles as you have it in hand. I love the exaggerated midsole of the model too. It just has a, like a really interesting appeal to it. But it's really a nice looking new model that uh, New Balance has created. And I'm really excited excited to see what they do in 2023 because 2022 has been a heck of a year. If I would have gotten this a little bit earlier, this probably would have met on my top 10 list because it's honestly just a really, really clean colorway and model. But I still have this Leahy Benberries coming to me that I haven't actually got in hand as of the point of me recording this video. Can't wait to get those as well because even though it's a 992, Slay Benberry has really, really nice collaborations uh, with New Balance. So excited to see that one. Also, I didn't show you guys, but it came with two extra sets of laces. So you have the gray as well as like a cream colored lace I think that I actually really like the laces that they have on here but I like the fact that you do have uh, two different sets with different accent colors as well the, the gray has yellow and then the cream has the purple and then the yellow as well uh, the ones on here have the purple and blue so just another small detail that really just ties the whole theme together but New Balance great job Bodega great job excited that I was able to get a pair of these in hand and definitely on feet and it's a really well created pair again probably my favorite one from Bodega and New Balance out of the four that I have this is definitely uh, my favorite but leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about the New Balance uh, Bodega 9060 appreciate you all for stopping by and watching the video if you guys are new to my channel and you guys enjoy sneaker content please consider subscribing and hopefully we'll see you back for some more sneaker content soon all right peace guys